What's up YouTube? I'm back to do a hard block opening and I haven't done one of these in a while. So not only do I have one box, not two, not three, not four, but five boxes to open up. Let's start off with the May month of horror block. I seem to be a procrastinator, but I'll get to that problem later. Oh, I can tell right off the bat I'm gonna like this. I'm a big pinhead fan. We got a pinhead Funko Pop. That is awesome. The editor on Blu-ray, wow. I was actually looking forward to this one day in the store and I couldn't find it. That is awesome. It's a good movie. A uh, lot of fun. A lot of uh, poked fun at Giallo's. Uh, definitely a great watch. Fun movie. From the guys who did uh, Father's Day. What is this? Graveyard Salt and Pepper Shakers. Yeah, that's good for Halloween coming up. That'll definitely be used. And we have a Cthulhu patch. I think that's Cthulhu. Looks like Cthulhu. I'm going to say it's a Cthulhu patch. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks like it's Cthulhu. Big fan of HP Lovecraft. Let's see the t-shirt. That's pretty awesome. See that? That looks awesome. First I thought it was a Shockma shirt. And I was kind of hoping for that. That definitely is a badass shirt. And of course, Room Morgue with the Phantasm Ravager update. Supposedly we're supposed to get that in October. We'll see. I'm looking forward to that. I like the Phantasm series, at least the first two films. Uh, film three and four kind of uh, go by the wayside. Uh, get a little crazy. All right, so that's May. Got four more of these to do. That's a good month. I should open that up in May. Big Hellraiser fan, like I said. So here's June. Let's see what we have in June. Why am I doing that? I should just cover it and then I can open it up. We have a tin here. Funko Pop Friday 13, Nightmare on Elm Street, Trick or Treat, Jason Voorhees, Sam and Freddy Krueger, the minor, minor, the tiny ones, the vinyl figures. I was trying to say minor figures. I don't know why. Combining two words. And next, fill the t-shirt. Another DVD. Blu-ray. Death Gasm. That's back-to-back Blu-rays that are just good movies. Death Gasm watched the last October for the October, um, October Horror Movie Challenge on DVD Talk. Uh, Hysterical movie. Um, these look like they're very, um, very bare bones. But I mean, awesome movie. It's it's fun. It's uh it's it's in the same kind of vein as uh, Shaun of the Dead, whereas a uh, good horror movie. Uh, if you're into D and D or anything like that, you'll easily connect with the characters. So that's uh, another awesome Blu-ray. What else we got here? Motion Picture Score Series. Wow, this is a little uh, soundtrack on record. Wow. Luckily, I actually have a record player. This, no, this can't be a record. I don't know what this is. If it's CD or record. It feels like a record. It feels like a 45. That is. That's awesome, man. It definitely is a, a plus. What else we got here? Comic book. Penny Dreadful Comic. I didn't watch a series, but I heard it is actually really good and I do want to check it out. I heard it's uh, if you're into like just monsters in general, it's, it's excellent. Uh, t-shirt time. What do we got for the t-shirt? Midnight Madness, Gremlins t-shirt, that's awesome. I mean, I, I collect horror t-shirts obviously. Uh, I mean, horror block, I mean, right here. Um, I like, like, sometimes I like getting like the, uh, the 80s movies, the, uh, the kids movies that I grew up with that are, you know, considered horror, but I mean, I wouldn't really consider Gremlins a horror movie, but it does have that same vein. And it, it is cool to get these sometimes. Uh, a couple months back with Beetlejuice. Um, oh wow, Jason Voorhees pin. I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually pretty cool. Horror block exclusive. And then of course, another issue of Rumor. We got some other stuff underneath here. That I do need to go through, but that's more of the Hey, this is what you got type of stuff. So let me put all this 
this back. This one ain't going in the nice and neat, so we'll put this like that and drop it. Makes you look like I'm running out of time, so I might have to stop this and do a second video, which, I mean, by the time I'm done with this one and that one, it'll probably be next year, and I'll probably about 10 more of these to open up. Let's see if I can do this in the next minute, 20 seconds. And I'll do the next two. Wow, uh, there's two right up the top. Let's see, two Punko, Funko Pop, Punko, I keep saying Punko. We got Angel. Not a big Buffy fan, not a big Angel fan. Uh, this will probably be going on eBay, but you never know. Let's see the other one's Buffy. Dr. Efrain Goodweather. Oh, from The Strain, okay. I, I do watch Strain, I haven't watched this season yet. Um, I'm a little behind on that. Oh, freaking Blu-ray Turbo Kid, another movie. This one I actually wanted to see. I didn't get a chance to see this yet. That's three really awesome Blu-rays right in a row. I wonder if Horror Block is um, trying to go against, uh, um, what is it, Horror Pack, the, the movie sent down, trying to throw at least one movie in there, trying to steal some uh, some competition. I don't even know if they are competition. They're probably owned by the same company. What is this? A Nightmare on Elm Street pillowcase? Yeah, that, that's going on my, my pillow tonight. That's awesome. My wife will probably fight me for that. And the t-shirt, I can already see what it is. My favorite movie of all time. Jaws. We have an Orca t-shirt. How awesome is that? That is... Alright, back with a little bit more. And we got two more boxes, actually. Mm -hmm. And then, after the uh, Orca t-shirt, the other thing we had in there was, of course, another epi uh, another issue of Room Org. I was going to say an episode, as if there's TV shows in there. Uh, another issue of Room Org. Mm -hmm. So, that's three magazines i got to read now. Plus, I'm sure there's two more, so that's five. Hopefully, uh, I get a chance to read them. I'm all behind, I guess. And way up. I didn't look in this time. I looked uh, straight at you guys. Let's see. I feel... Is that slippers? It's a hat. Camp Crystal Lake. That is an awesome trucker-style hat. And I need a new hat. And this is something I would wear. And... I don't know if you can see it there. Look at that. That's ah, too dark, it looks like. It says, uh, Jason Lives. I don't know if you can see it, but... That's pretty cool. Trucker style cap. Definitely check that out. Definitely wear it. And another DVD or Blu-ray. And this one is Alien Uprising. This one I did not see. I never even heard about this one. Eh, sounds a little interesting. Two disc. Uh, looks like Hancock on the cover. I don't know if you guys know the cover of Hancock, but that looks exactly like it. Uh, except that's not uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, I'll check it out. Another movie to add to the Blu-ray collection. Correction. What do we got here? Walking Dead. Oh, I've seen this in um, something similar. It's not this one. But it's the Walking Dead um, uh, Stack Em Up, I think they're called. Um, I don't know. It's, it, they sell them at, uh, at Toys R Us. You see it. It's a, it's a play set. Um, I mean, I love Walking Dead, but I don't collect stuff like this. Uh, oh, it's a McFarlane toy. I don't know. Eh, maybe I will collect it then. I uh, don't know, but maybe I'll give it to somebody. See if some one of my family members, I know a bunch of them are uh, Walking Dead fans. Maybe we'll give it to somebody. They don't even watch his YouTube videos, so I don't know why I'm saying that. What's a t shirt? That's, I like that. That's Psycho. That's one of another best movies of all time. That's just a cool, cool shirt. Very min minimalistic. Uh, I like that. That's uh, definitely going to be worn. This October, actually, it'll probably be next week. And another issue of Room Morgan. Oh, what's this? Something with Simpsons. I used to be a big fan of Simpsons. I used to love The Simpsons. Simpsons got real bad about 15, 20, 15 years ago. But I don't care if you don't like The Simpsons or not. That is cool. Simpsons Return of the Living Dead cover. That is awesome. All right, one more box, and then there'll be the five box opening that I procrastinated for so long for that I really shouldn't have, because that's four Blu-rays to my collection, that's four morgues, four t-shirts, and a bunch of other collectibles, some that I will pass on to other people and sell, and some that, like the Pinhead, that I will love and cherish, because Pinhead is one of those characters that you should love and cherish. There's another Funko Pop. What is 
is that? This is all this is kind of similar. Baby bleeds you alive. Number two, creepy doll head. A couple months back, they did the first doll head. Well, now we have the second one. Um, they are pretty freaky. Um, not a toy for display only. Why would you be playing with a doll's head? What would possess you to play with a doll's head? But if you don't put it there, somebody will play with it and get hurt, and then that's the end of all the fun, right? What do we got here? Ghostbusters screen cleaning cloth. I'm gonna call him Drago. I don't, that's not his name. I know his name's not Drago, but that was just what I was about to call him. I don't know why. T-shirt. A nice leather face T-shirt. That's badass. Going with the collection. I'm trying to get 31 T-shirts for October. Let's see if I can get there. I'm getting close. Horror block crayons. Horror block crayons. Those will be traded out. Oh, to go with the supernatural coloring book. I got my room. The coloring book goes with the uh, with the supernatural. I mean, with the crayons go with the supernatural coloring book. And then the last thing in there is a horror pentagram necklace. Not a big fan of jewelry like that, so that uh, that won't be going anywhere. That's it. I mean, five boxes. It took me a short amount of time to open them. Then I probably did the lug them all down here to do this. Um, October 1st or 2nd, whenever I get the next one, I'm going to open it right then and there. not going to do this waiting around or anything. Um, stay tuned, though, because uh, I am going to try to do a lot more videos. Uh, we're going to try to get some reviews up. And uh, I know in October I have a couple things planned for uh, for this YouTube channel that hopefully works out. But we will see.